mostly microphone. She was like, I'm the difficult one. <laughs> I don't do well. There's no pressure. The mom is funny. I've done quite a bit and I absolutely enjoyed it as a girl. She was so much fun and I'm glad that I had the experience that I do before I did her because she's very complicated and I hope and you guys will have to tell me if I hit all the points of her characters. I think she's she's so unique, you know, and, but she's unique in that she's a teenager, you know, that has these incredible abilities and I love that about her and it makes her a uh, how did you find this role different to your previous voice roles? Oh, they're all different, but uh, I liked that she was headstrong, very headstrong. Uh, all the other characters that I've played have usually been kind of team players, I guess I would say, and she was completely like, not even a leaf, just like, this, would, this needs to be done and I'm going to do it, because I'm capable of doing it. She's not... What's the word? She's not self-important or anything like that. She just knows that she needs to help. And even when she's scared, she does it. And I think that's a huge, uh, a great thing about her. Bob said, the screenwriter said that when he wrote the, the part, that he made Kara and Supergirl very different. Was it, that make your job harder or did that kind of make it easier? No, it, 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 made it, it made it so much fun and challenging. And that's really interesting. That's completely correct. She was very, very sweet, kind of soft spoken as Kara. And then Supergirl, she was like, I have these powers and I'm going to use them. Just completely, this is my identity and I'm going to help you with this. I'm not going to let what happened to me happen to anybody else. It's not fair. So, it, it was like playing it was like playing different characters and that was great. Supergirl's been portrayed a couple dozen times in different ways. Did you go back and actually look at any of the older movies or any of the comics or anything? I did, I did. I went back and I looked at all of them actually and the one that I really gained the most insight from was um, uh, Superman, Batman, um, what an annihilation, come on guys. Apocalypse. Apocalypse, thank you very much. Superman, Batman, Apocalypse. And I think that Summer Wow did an amazing job voicing Supergirl. And that was actually very intimidating. Because I was like, wow, people love this movie. And she did such a great job. I hope that I can bring you know, Supergirl just as much to life and you know, do it just as much justice. So that was really what I helped. That was the standard that I helped myself to. Did you get to act as Stana, your co-star in Castles, obviously, in this as well? Did you actually get to win with her at all? No, Stana, it's so sad. We've never worked together. We always pass each other. But it's fun to think that, at least in the movie, we act together. But we have, we didn't have the movie so, I'm in the series, you've seen it. What was it like hearing her in it? As a teenager in person. Oh, I think that she brought a very unique flavor to um, leading on the name, and that's awful. Please help me. Lois? Thank you. Uh, she brought such a unique flavor uh, to Lois, and I really, li I really like her and uh, Sophia's uh, Matt's voices together and how they play off each other. It's awesome, and the stuff that Stan and I did together as well was great. Great, yeah, and I wish we could have worked together, but not the same that we didn't, it's still like we did. It's, it's excellent. Did you have a chance to work in the booth with anyone? Sorry. No, I was all alone. All alone, just, just the mic and me. <laughs> yeah, that was the last thing. Do you find it difficult? Like, um, I know you do, do a lot of live acting, and do you find it difficult when you're doing voiceovers and you don't have that person to work off with? No. I, I, you know, it's funny, I never look at anything as difficult. It's just the situation, you have to make the best of it. And I think that there's fun in being in there and getting to do your own thing without having to work off something. Because I've been in a situation before where I had a very, very clear idea of how I wanted to end the scene, say a line, for instance, 
within the person that I'm working with won't react the way I want them to. So that takes away my opportunity to do what I had planned. So being able to do it by yourself, for me, is so much more fun because I can just throw anything out there and react any way I want. And in the end, they'll choose what they want and put it all together. But I still kind of get to do my initial ideas. So I think it's more fun. I'm a team player. I just, <laughs> I just, I just like working alone. <laughs> drawn to doing voice work because you've just I mean, you've done quite a bit already. I love it. I mean, it, it's such a great industry to be in and I hope to do more and more and more. I love them both equally. I, it, I like doing things that my parents can watch and I like doing things that my nieces can watch. So to be able to do that is great. Taking her away. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.